we've got something to tell everybody, haven't we? Are you going to tell them or am I? Are you going to tell them? Can mummy tell them? So hi everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel. I... <laughs> I don't really know how to say this and I don't know how to start this video but there has been a little secret that we've been keeping from you all you're going to be a big sister aren't you <laughs> I genuinely can't believe that those words are coming out of my mouth but yeah I am pregnant <laughs> again so yeah I'm pregnant again I'm feeling very well, as I'm filming the intro, I am actually 10 weeks pregnant. So you'll be seeing this in like two weeks time. But I have been documenting like my first trimester. And I also filmed a couple of reactions from telling people, not everyone's because I won't lie. When I first found out, obviously I'm pregnant with my second child so soon. I have never felt those emotions in my life. So, when I first found out, I literally told my parents the same day um, and my sisters obviously and I just felt extremely confused and I was very very shocked. First thing being I was on the Yasmin pill. So yeah, that was that. Um, so I am a massive believer that everything does happen for a reason. Um, obviously. <laughs> Delilah is only eight months, well eight months next week. I'm going to have two under two. I can imagine that is going to be one hell of a challenge, but I am up for it. But yeah, emotions, um, I don't, I, it's weird, like I don't believe it, but I'm very, very grateful that obviously I am pregnant again. I am a massive believer in everything does happen for a reason, like I've already said, and I'm just, I'm so excited. Obviously, in my first pregnancy with Delilah, I was brand new to everything. I didn't know what was normal, how to do things, what I can and can't do, etc. So I feel like in that sense, this time round, it will be easier because I know what to do. I know who to contact and obviously, I am starting like my pregnancy straight away at Burnley Hospital and if you don't know already with Delilah I did actually have to transfer my care um, due to, um, I don't really know how to word it, due to lack of support and care at another hospital basically. So I did transfer to Burnley Hospital at 36 weeks pregnant with Delilah but I'm just so 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 grateful that I am actually starting this pregnancy straight away at Burnley because they were absolutely amazing like beyond amazing and they're definitely worth the travel for me so I have actually already had one appointment um, at Burnley and I do have the same midwife Amy who birthed Delilah which was just it was Oh, it was so like I can't even explain it was just so surreal being back at that hospital seeing Amy again and I was just I, I can't believe it but obviously I'm waffling too much um but you will see in this video a few people's reactions of me telling them that I am pregnant find me and Lorenzo actually you're gonna see me and Lorenzo finding out as well and yeah this pregnancy already feels very different to when I had you. It does. It feels very, very different. Um, just, I think maybe because I'm running around more, so I'm more tired than I was with Delilah. Because if you don't know already, Delilah's already started crawling. And so I am chasing her everywhere. She's grabbing things. She pulled the handle off our wine fridge today. She, I don't know where this energy has come from. It is like someone has switched, no flicked a switch it's just come out of nowhere and she's getting up on her knees reaching up for things she's pulling the curtains it, it is it is chaos in this apartment i'm not even joking yeah but i am going to stop rambling now i really do hope that you enjoy watching this video watching some people's reactions me updating you on my symptoms and how i'm feeling etc and yet again i am super excited to be able to document my journey for you guys keep you updated be very open and honest and very raw as i was last time um but yeah i can't believe it and 
I'm so excited to bring you all on this journey for round two. <laughs> I can't believe I'm saying that. What the hell? Let me say, enjoy. Enjoy. Mm. Will that not affect it? Yeah, I do. Keep it a bit down. I'm not bothered. There you go. Show me. Fuck! <laughs> 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 I didn't think I was. I don't know what I told you, though. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't think you was. I didn't. I still don't feel I'm not. Like you are. <laughs> I'm really intrigued. <laughs> what this means. What? Lorenzo's put, this one's for Jess. Ruby has something to tell you. I'm pregnant no, again. No, you're not. I am. No, you're not. You're lying. I promise. You are lying. No, stop it now. We'll actually cry my makeup off. Yesterday, I found Fuck out. Fuck off. No. <laughs> no, actually, stop it. Are you going to ask me to cry my makeup off right now? No, stop. Are you being serious? I found out yesterday. I found out yesterday. Obviously, this won't be posted in that video, but. I found out yesterday, and you're the first friend to know. My mum and dad know. I went round last night because I was so confused. I was like, how, what's going on, what the fuck am I going to do? But you're like the first friend to know. No. But no one else can know because it's only one to two weeks, so anything could happen. But... <laughs> fuck off now. No, oh, I'm actually speechless. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. Ruby, I'm actually, genuinely, I've never been this speechless in my whole life. It's so funny when babies look at each other. <laughs> Guess what? What? Guess what? What? I'm Me? <laughs> no, you're not. No, you're not. Are you actually? No, stop it. I'm going to cry. Today it is Thursday the 22nd of December um, I just wanted to come on and kind of update you all how I'm feeling So they, I'm only 5 weeks at this point that I'm filming this Obviously that's if I've worked it out correctly But I am feeling beyond exhausted Like tired doesn't even cut it I don't know if it's the pregnancy I don't even say that's so weird I can't it still doesn't feel real um i'm so thirsty which is resulting in me literally needing to go to the toilet every just just more than usual but yeah so far i know i'm still very very early on as i'm filming this but this is a complete different type of pregnancy to what i had with delilah it is now friday the 6th of january i think <laughs> i know it's a friday anyway so the past week or so i have been feeling absolutely exhausted like i've just been waking up almost with a headache like the front of my head here has just been feeling so heavy even though i've been sleeping absolutely amazing for example delilah didn't wake up till half 10 this morning which is just crazy but obviously i'm not complaining um and i feel like this pregnancy i've felt like a lot more hungry I have been eating so much but honestly the past week I've just been so tired I've not been as motivated as I usually am I've kind of just been living in my pajamas the majority of the time I won't lie 
but tomorrow I am going to take you along with us to our reassurance scan. I am officially seven weeks pregnant as I am filming this, which just feels crazy to say. It still hasn't sank in yet and I really don't know when it will, but it kind of needs to because I'm going to have two under two. I am scared, I am scared, I won't lie, um, but I'll speak to you another time, probably once you guys have already watched this video, which will probably be in just over a month's time, and then I'll open up about how I'm feeling about everything, and things like that. So the next time that I will speak to you will more than likely be at the reassurance scan, which I'm doing, well, I'm going to tomorrow with Lorenzo. It is now officially Saturday the 7th of January, so I did actually speak to you yesterday with a little bit of an update, um, but today we are going for a reassurance scan, so I am just over 7 weeks, when I was pregnant with Delilah I did actually go for a reassurance scan at 6 weeks, but they couldn't quite see anything, they could only see like the baby sack type of thing on the ultrasound, so they sent us back on week seven just to check over. So that's why we've left it one week later than we initially went with Delilah. So we're gonna to go to the reassur reassurance scan today. I'm not 100% sure if we will be able to film or not. We was allowed with Delilah, but if we can, I'm sure we will. And yeah, it feels so weird that I'm doing this all over again. It doesn't feel real and I feel like I'm just going for the fun of it, but I'm excited. We've arrived. I am shitting myself. So we've just come out of Hey Baby. Obviously on the scans, the baby hasn't fully developed, but you can show, I'll show you a bit of a close up in a minute. So you can see like the sack the baby's in and apparently he or she is one centimeters in size now. Um, it was actually the same, what do you call them? The person who does your scan, it, it was basically the same lady that did it when we had Delilah, so that was really nice. She was like, you've been before, haven't you? I was like, yeah, last year. But that was so surreal having that, um, that scan again. It was weird, and it still doesn't feel real to me, but it does to you, doesn't it? Yeah. So. So this is pretty much all that you can see on the scan. So the big black circle is like the sack, and then this bit, to the right of the sack is the baby. It is currently Thursday the 12th of January and we are going to our first midwife appointment. I am so excited but I am shitting myself. It's gonna be so weird because it's the same midwife that birthed Delilah. It's just gonna be crazy but we need to check out the hotel so I'll catch up with you all more when we get into the car. We've just arrived at Burnley Hospital and the feeling driving back here i can't even explain it we was driving in and i just said the first thing that i said was um do you remember when i was doing that curbing and if you see my birth vlog i was walking around like the hospital grounds type of thing walking up and down the curbs like when i got induced to try and bring on labor and just being back here is the weirdest thing ever it's making it feel a little bit more real because i am officially eight weeks pregnant today as i'm filming this and it's just mental like i still can't believe it do you know what i mean i still can't get my head around it but anyway my appointment is in half an hour but we're just gonna go in and get a drink from the vending machine or something instead of just sat waiting in the car and i'll update you about what happened at this appointment and yeah just tell you what the midwife says but i'm so excited because it is um amy the midwife who birthed delilah so it's just gonna be crazy and i don't know i don't even know how to explain how i feel but i'm so excited we have just come out of the appointment and honest to god it it feels a lot more real now put it that way so obviously we had well the midwife we went to see was amy who birthed delilah and it was the most surreal feeling ever seeing her again but it was so lovely we just had a chat about delilah a catch up about like life how we've been getting on and stuff like that 
and yeah she i feel really like amy's more excited not more excited than us but she's just as excited as us isn't she yeah she was so buzzing for us um so that was lovely and she said she's gonna um be with us through all of our appointments yeah so we've got her as like my midwife throughout my pregnancy so i'm so happy about that and um, because i've obviously i know that i've got a midwife that I trust and I know she will like she's got the best intentions for me um, so I know I'm not gonna have a pregnancy experience as I did last time and yeah Burnley Hospital are just amazing in general so I'm so happy in that appointment we basically discussed my health my current health like my past health and um, bits about my last pregnancy so for example if I'd accept um, a blood transfusion if I need one because when I birthed Delilah I did lose a lot of blood we talked about things like that we she took my blood my urine urine I never know how to say that word but yeah I took my weight my height and that is that so now we'll I'm gonna see her again in, uh, we'll see her again in four week, eight weeks uh, no we won't see her then we'll see her again no at my 16, yeah. 16 week appointment but we've just booked my 12 week scan which is on the 9th of Feb I think I'm so excited so it is now Thursday the 19th of January please excuse how rough I am I'm not even joking yet my skin has broke out so much um, especially during this pregnancy and at the start if you've watched my other videos on my YouTube, you might have noticed me complain quite a bit about it. Um, but yeah, today I'm officially nine weeks pregnant and I've just been feeling so exhausted. This morning I woke up and I actually felt really sick for the first time. I did have a, like, a slight bit of morning sickness when I was pregnant with Delilah, but I was kind of fine after I ate but this morning it was horrible I felt so sick I opened the fridge and I was gagging like that's just not like me at all and also my boobs today they're sore I believe that I'm nine weeks pregnant already um I actually got my blood test results back because last week you would have seen I think that would have been the previous clip to this I did have a hospital appointment and they took my bloods and they do all of their like maternity stuff on an app which I think is so much better than paper so I logged in this morning and I had a look at my test results like my blood test results and obviously I'm not a doctor or anything so I don't know if this is the case I do need to speak to my midwife um but my ferritin so like your iron or some i think it's iron don't quote me is actually 12 and me be me had a bit of a google and for a lady your iron level should be between 12 and 150 any less is classed as anemic but previously to my pregnancy with delilah i did actually have to have a iron infusion and if I am anemic or borderline anemic, it does explain my extreme fatigue. And about maybe a month ago now, my GP did prescribe me some iron tablets, but this is a bit TMI. Taking the iron tablets really affects my bowel movement and it's really painful. So I've not been taking them every day, as the doctor told me to. I've been taking them every other day. But still, regardless, I'm taking them tablets and my iron is still extremely low on my ferritin. I don't know if that's just a fancy word for iron, I don't know. But yeah, I just thought I'd give you an update and I shall chat to you soon. Right, it is 20... No, it, oh god, I can't even speak. As you can tell, I'm about to... I'm about to um, maybe rant, I don't know. So, it is Tuesday the 24th of January. Um... <laughs> I'm glad you're happy. I'm glad you're happy. As you can tell, I have been crying. I've been picking my lashes out because I'm stressed. I'm trying to obviously not allow stress to get to me and all of that stuff. Let me just put you down. It'll be easier to chat to you. So, obviously, watching this, you'll know clearly that I'm get off the kettle. <laughs> um, clearly, that I'm pregnant. So we can't continue to live in this apartment anymore. We need a bigger space. We need a garden for the dogs. And so we found a property which was just perfect for us. Like, sorry, my S Oh God, this is a mess. This part of the vlog literally describes my day. 
so what i was trying to say is we found a property which is perfect and basically we've got like we didn't get it and obviously i know everything happens for a reason but it's just so disheartening like the amount of properties that we've applied for we get turned down but it's really really frustrating because obviously i'm pregnant i've already got a baby me and lorenzo we need a bigger space this is only two bed um obviously i get baby skin share and stuff like that but i want to be closer to my parents because we're gonna we are gonna need the extra support do you know what i mean are you saying hiya mm. me too me too <laughs> You're trying to grab the camera. <laughs> no. But obviously everything does happen for a reason, which is fine. It's just very disheartening. Um, obviously there's bigger issues going on in the world right now, but it's just one of them which we could be do like it could I don't know. But I thought I would update you. Obviously I know it's not very pregnancy related, but it's kinda of to do with like our family. Like look at my face. I shouldn't have tanned my face. Oh my god. Why did I pick my lashes out? Someone tell me that please. Why? Why? Why do that to myself? Today it is Tuesday the 25th of um, January. I have picked out my lashes because you would have seen yesterday. I was very stressed. Oh my god, I'm out of breath. I'm out of breath. But the reason why I'm vlogging this little part is that we've actually come to Anglesey to have a bit of a break. But I just wanted to show you my belly. I will be 10 weeks into... No, 10 weeks tomorrow, actually. Oh, it's not even Tuesday, it's Wednesday. Wednesday the 25th, I think. Um, but tomorrow I will be 10 weeks pregnant. And I currently feel like I look how pregnant I was when I was 20 weeks pregnant, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I look how I did when I was 20 weeks pregnant with Delilah. So I'm going to show you now. I don't really know. And I, and I do know you are highly likely to show sooner with your second. But this is a bit of a joke, okay? Are you ready? Like, seriously, are you ready? Because I'm not. So this is from the front, you can't really tell from the front. And then, from the side... My little Reggie. Oh my god. But as you can imagine, like, at the end of the day, when I've eaten, it's like triple this. So this is my belly with my leggings down. Because these leggings are actually so tight, so they actually pull me in. I can't cope. I actually can't cope. What is going on? Today is Monday the 30th of January. Um, and I just needed to come on and document how I've been feeling the past couple of days. So, so like, on Saturday just gone, so, what, two or three days ago, at night time, I've started getting this really sharp shooting pain in, like, the left side of my back. Obviously, I don't know if this is pregnancy-related. I don't have a clue. Um, but I know you can get lower back pain. But it's, like, to the bottom of my lower back... Like you get to a bone which is almost like a ball like almost like the back of your hip bone maybe and it's a really 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 sharp pain but at the same time when that's happening my neck like my lymph nodes have been really swollen i don't even know if i mentioned that already um but my lymph nodes in my neck have been really swollen so like the back of my neck here has just been so sore as well but only at night time along with the back pain which is also only at night time and then about 20 minutes ago i started getting a like a really uncomfortable pain on my stomach low down on the left so i don't know what's going on with that obviously my body is stretching things are changing but yeah it's not the nicest feelings to be honest and any so i'm sure you can really if you're watching this and you're pregnant or you've already had a kid any sort of pain causes you worry well it does me anyway so I'm just running a bath now. Hopefully the bath will help ease the aches and pains and make me feel a little bit better. It is now Wednesday the 8th of February. I have my 12 week scan tomorrow. <laughs> I can't believe it. I actually can't believe it. It doesn't feel real. Um, it is half four in the afternoon. You can probably tell I am in bed. The past few days, my regular naps have started once again. So when I was breaking up with Delilah, in my first trimester, going into the second, I did in fact used to have like a good two to three hour nap a day. 
they have started again yesterday i've just got in bed now to have a nap and you'd think if i was to sleep two or three hours now i wouldn't sleep at night but trust me last night i slept like a baby so the past um since i last spoke to you so maybe like the past week or so i've just been feeling so tired it's a different type of tiredness that i used to feel at the beginning of my pregnancy like right at the start it's more like head like proper heavy tiredness type of thing um i don't think it's anything to do with my iron like it feels like a different feeling but other than that i'm feeling good and i'm so excited that you guys are going to be watching this tomorrow as i am filming this i just can't believe it i actually can't believe that we're doing round two again what the hell well not again you know what i mean round two is it round two it's not round two again you know what i mean i'm just waffling now oh yeah and another thing you can probably see my skin isn't the best at the minute probably the hormones and the stress of moving out but i'm gonna have a nap now and this is the end of my first trimester vlog what how it's it's so true what people say that your second pregnancy goes fast like a lot quicker than your first because obviously you've got a baby already that you're caring for you're supporting for you're doing everything for ev all day every day so it makes sense why it's going quicker but I hope you have all enjoyed this video I can't believe it still like it feels mental so I do have my 12 week scan tomorrow but I'm pretty certain I won't be able to film that because it is an actual hospital scan so please make sure that you have subscribed if you haven't already so you don't miss out on my pregnancy journey again this time round obviously I'm a lot more confident in front of the camera so I will be documenting even more than I did last time and yeah I am very excited, very nervous, very scared, but yet again, it's an absolute blessing and I will forever be grateful to be pregnant again. <laughs> I can't believe those words are going out of my mouth. But anyway, I'm going to bring this video to an end now. Thank you all so much for watching. It means the world to me. And yeah, I can't wait for this journey. Bye.